Good day, my dear panelists, my audience. My name is Lani A. Makababat, and on behalf of my group, I am here to present to you our paper entitled, A Mobile Application for Enhancing Academic Achievement on Mitosis and Meiosis Using Game-Based Learning. So the presentation will follow this sequence. I'd like to begin with research background, methods, salient findings, conclusion, references, and some acknowledgements. The rise of ICT has greatly opened opportunities for various pedagogy. Because of this, during the past decades, the field of teaching and learning gradually changed to integrating technology into the classroom setting. The use of ICT in education facilitates the learning environment in schools and offers e-learning facilities. One of the key tenets of policies that encourage the use of information and communication technologies in education was that they may act as agent of change. So the integration of games and technology has also piqued the interest of the educators. Applying games and learning thus an approach called game-based learning. So game-based learning describes an environment where game content and gameplay promote knowledge and skills acquisition. It is a type of gaming that has learning outcomes that render it different from entertainment-oriented games. Several studies imply a significant impact of game-based learning to student motivation, engagement, and learning. It has also been suggested that game-based learning may be an effective way to impart learning experiences in a way that is both interesting and inspiring for students, thereby raising students' interest in fields related to science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, and boosting their academic achievement. So the usage of mobile devices has also enormous potential to change the learning process by transforming the traditional classroom into one that is more dynamic and engaging. And because of mobile devices, students now have the freedom to study wherever and wherever it is more convenient for them. The versatility of newer devices and their capacity to view interactive, three-dimensional and enhanced graphics, pictures, and simultations are well associated with these distinct aspects of science learning. So the teaching and learning of eukaryotic cell division have been one of the subjects of frequent research studies. These of the researchers have focused on the study of cell division, particularly in eukaryotic cells, it is found to be difficult to understand among students. Difficulties include the amount of time that is given to tackle the complex concept of cell division seem to be insufficient. Studies also reveal that misconceptions among students with regards to the topic may be rooted to the teaching styles that are used by teachers such as traditional lectures and laboratory working sessions. Furthermore, according to Martin et al. in 2018, suggests that the traditional teaching is not very successful in providing a deep understanding of the concept of cell division since concepts of these topics are generally abstract, thus requires visualization and conceptualization. As a result, it is only appropriate if teaching and learning environments provide more visual-based activities towards given alternative understanding. So in addition, in Cicely and Cara in 2012 also suggested that illustrations allow students to better understand theoretical concepts that are not apparent to the naked eye relating to the phenomena. Currently, there is no mobile application yet available for enhancing academic achievement on mitosis and meiosis using game-based learning. Thus, the study aimed to design and develop an offline mobile application called DVT Cell. The study employed the design and development research design in a one-group pre-test and post-test design, which is a pre-experimental design. So the research process is summarized in Figure 1, a mobile application that can be used as a supplemental material in teaching mitosis and meiosis was designed based from the recommendations taken from the literature and random survey for the preferability of the students for the design. So based from the interface design, the application was developed by the software developer found in Del Carmen's Regal del Norte. It was then alpha and beta tested by IT experts. The researchers and biology teachers to determine glitches and inaccurate concepts found in the application. So the app was then evaluated by the secondary science teachers. After the evaluation of the app, one class of senior high school students of Shargao National High School was asked to use the app to test its efficacy in enhancing academic achievement on mitosis and meiosis. So the interface design of the mobile application is shown in Figure 2. So as seen in Figure 2a, once the user opens the mobile application, they will see the start button and have to click that for the app to start. 
Figure 2B shows the play icon, settings, information, and educational videos. Once the user chooses the play icon, the user will be directed to figure 2C and will be greeted with sell all the cartoon character, which explains the educational contents and game of the application. The educational videos icon and figure 2D will lead the user to the additional learning materials to further enhance the learning of the topic and the app. The videos can only be accessed online. So, by simply clicking the choices on this page, the user will automatically be, be redirected to the link to the videos online. So, in figure 2A is the continuation of figure 2C. Here, the user can click the icon Mitosa Cell Division or Meiosa Cell Division, whichever the user wants to see the content first. But the researchers suggest opening the Mitosa Cell Division first for a more coherent understanding of the topics. So, in figure 2F shows an introduction about mitosis once the students click the mitosis cell division icon shown in figure 2g is the map each number corresponds to the stages of a cell division one for prophase two for pro metaphase three for metaphase four for anaphase and five for telophase and cytokinesis clicking the numbers the students will be directed to the discussion of each stage shown in figure 2h when the students reach the final stage, which is 5 telophase and cytokinesis, they will be directed to the game proper, which will serve as a review of their knowledge on the discussion. So, the game proper has two types, quiz type and guess the word. It is summarized here in figure 3. So, in figure 3, A shows the quiz game, which is the multiple choice type questions. Here, the user has to choose the letter of the correct answer in the given questions. After answering all the questions, the user will be directed to the scoreboard in figure 3B, and it will be reflected here with the correct and wrong answers. By clicking the details button, the user will be given explanations on each item. In figure 3C, in the guess the word game, in this, the user will have to answer the question and guess the answer by clicking on the letters shown in the boxes. So the user will be given three chances. If the user's chances run out, a dialogue will pop up. Like the quiz game, a scoreboard and an explanation will show in figure 8D after answering all the questions in the guess the word game. If the user wishes to go back, the user has to click the back icon and by clicking the proceed, the user will then be directed again to the mitosis map. This process is the same on meiosis. The user has to read the dialogue carefully. The DBT cell app was evaluated using an adapted rubric by Bolawan et al. in 2020. So the adapted rubric was utilized by seven secondary high school teachers to evaluate the DBT cell. So the adapted rubric is composed of accessibility, functionality, screen design, and aesthetics as shown in Table 1. So the achievement test evaluation, the researcher made achievement test was subjected to a thorough phase and content validation by three college science professors and the instrument was then pilot tested for reliability and validity. The Pearson product moment coefficient of correlation was then utilized to get the reliability index of the research instrument with an obtained value of 0.72, which means that the research instrument is reliable and is good for classroom tests. Here are salient findings. The app was evaluated in terms of five criteria set based from the adopted rubric. The results are summarized in Table 2. As shown, the app is rated very good in the four criteria and the last one as good. It is not worthy to mention that accuracy has been recorded highest. This is important since accuracy tells that the presented contents are reliable and scientifically accurate for the users to trust and use the mobile app. The user must believe that data is correct and comes from a highly regarded source according to Postolace 2021. So accessibility was also scored very good, which is very important since it is an educational application. This good rating could be because the DVD cell application can be easily downloaded and does not require internet access to function. To put it another way, because of mobile devices, students now have the freedom to study whenever and whatever it is most convenient for them according to Corsante and Lee in 2011. So based on the criteria above, functionality was noted as very good. To assess the functionality, the evaluators were requested to download and install the app themselves rather than utilizing a phone with it pre-installed. This would allow for more authentic app scoring. As a result, it was discovered that the application is simple to use and requires no assistance. Screen design is also scored very well. This is significant since layout and graphic design should be consistent. 
columns, margins, and icons should be all placed consistently on the screen. Colors can be used to supplement information to help the M-Learning application achieve its goal, but they should be used in moderation according to Kim et al. in 2005. Thus, screen design affects M-Learner behavior positively by J. Rock et al. in 2009. In terms of the aesthetic of the mobile application, the science teacher scored the application least compared to the other criteria, which only scored good. Despite being scored as good, we can still consider that this app has a visually appealing interface that will likely draw learners' attention and increase their engagement level, according to Lee, C.Y., and Turner, T.S. in 2015. So, as shown in Table 3, it is shown that there is a significant difference between the pre-test and post-test mean score of the students. According to Musselman in 2014, in the findings of his study, it shows that game-based learning could improve the academic achievement of the students. Based from the table above, the calculated p-value is less than 0.05 and remarks as highly significant. This means then that there is a significant difference in the mean score of the pre-test and post-test scores of the students. This value implies that there is a significant increase in a student's academic achievement while using the mobile gaming app DVT Cell. We can say then that the mobile gaming app DVT Cell is effective as a supplemental material in teaching science and can help in enhancing students' academic achievement. This is true since this study had yielded similar results with a Chen et al. in 2018 meta-analysis study in determining the effectiveness of learning vocabulary via the usage of digital games. However, a study by Byun and Jung in 2018 in determining the extent of the impact that digital game-based learning has on the mathematical capabilities of students, they found out that the overall impact size was quite minor, which suggests that there may be other methods that are more successful in influencing students' learning in mathematics than using the digital games as a learning tool. In connection with this, the researchers believe that further high-quality studies are necessary in order to successfully verify the overall effects of digital game-based learning on student advancement in mathematics. This means that there is only a marginally significant impact of game-based learning on academic achievement focusing on children who are enrolled in mathematics-related courses. Those claims cannot be held true for other disciplines as it only focuses on the discipline of mathematics. After a thorough research of the researchers, capability of finding related studies about the topic, it is found that there is no existing related study yet that measures the effect of game-based learning on the academic achievement on science, particularly about eukaryotic cell division. This study's result then would serve as a first measurement on the effects of game-based learning and the topic of eukaryotic cell division. As a conclusion, this study aimed to develop and evaluate a mobile learning gaming application, a supplemental material on eukaryotic cell division, and improve students' academic achievement on the said topic. The mobile application DVT Cell was designed based on the recommendations taken from the literature and pre preferability of the students during a random survey. The mobile app was then developed and validated both alpha and beta tested by IT experts, researchers, and secondary biology teachers. Necessary improvements were then considered after the validation. The researcher made achievement test was also subjected to validity and reliability tests. So the final app and researcher made achievement test was then floated to the senior high school students and was found that there was a significant change in the pre-test and post-test scores of the students. This considerable change implies that the mobile gaming app has effectively enhanced the students' academic achievement in a meiosis and mitosis cell division. So in connection with this, this entails that game-based learning can indeed improve students' academic performance. So for the acknowledgement, we would like to express our heartful gratitude to Dr. Angelo Mark Wallag, a research advisor for his unwavering support and guidance throughout this research. We would also like to thank him for all the suggestions, for correcting the research paper, and for helping us make some sense of the confusion. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, and we are now ready for your questions.